Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be doing a uh, Tiana cake topper shaker and I'm incorporating something new. It's this light. I love this idea. So when you take out the card, it flashes, but you can easily put it back. So the cake topper doesn't always have to be on. So we just need to make sure that we put that on. It's on my Amazon list. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter if you look under cake topper materials you'll see everything that i buy on amazon well for a bunch of different projects but specifically for this one cake toppers um and if you're doing any of the characters i'm just gonna scoot back for a second look how awesome these big ones are they're 48 inches i'm five two ish and so i love that these are so big these are actually a little bit higher than my daughter who's five and a half. It's just like this much taller. So it's super cool, but these are 30 inches. And so it's a great party prop to go along with this cake topper. So I'm gonna flip the camera. This way you guys can have a better view of what we're doing. So let me know if you like this view because it's relatively new. <laughs> okay, so I opted for Tiana. I wanted to do like really pretty sequins in the middle. So it's gonna be a shaker. So I have all these pretty colors and I thought um, knowing that I wanted to do like purple and greens and some gold in there that I thought having a colored background would be too much. So this is the first time that I'm doing a shaker, I think, that doesn't have a back. So we will see how that looks and we'll just go from there. So the first thing is um, let's tape all this stuff together. So you can see this is just off the mat. I haven't, um, I haven't done anything. I mean, I pieced it together a little bit, but they definitely need work. So plug in your glue gun because we, as with every cake topper, um, I always like to kind of like layer everything one on top of the other and with some depth. So not just like, you know, even if you layer it right on top of each other, but you just tape it, it's going to be really flat and one dimensional and it's going to be like literally flat. <laughs> so we don't want that. We want to give it some layer, some depth so that it looks really like things, certain things pop out. So it just looks better. Um, while we're waiting for the glue gun, let's do a couple things. Let's, um, this is print and cut. So whenever I do print and cut with my specific printer, I print on just regular copy paper. So it, it's flimsy, it curls up because it's so light. I always do a, another background in cardstock. So that just gives it extra stability and I like it. So let's turn this around, get some scrap paper. So I'm just gonna grab my scrap paper. And I like using the Tombow glue tape. So just flip it over. Let's get her in all the, oops, all the delicate pointy areas like the fingers, definitely the head, but this is so pretty. I, I have yet to make anything Tiana, so I'm super excited to do this one. And I just think it's such a pretty image of her too as well. All right. And then usually for the big piece right here, I'm just going to use double-sided tape just to really get it down. Okay. Now, normally I would recommend doing the cardstock in, oh man, I got some paint on there. Okay. I was able to get it off. Good thing it was green. Um, normally I recommend doing this in white but she has a black outline everywhere. Um, so it's better to do it in black because if you don't line it up perfectly, it's not gonna look weird um, that there's like a little bit of black outline. Unless of course you don't line it up well, like I just did. Okay, and there's still a little bit of the green on here. Okay, and so there she is. It's much more, it's not as flimsy, but I know she's going up against the board, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so what we can do with her is I know she's gonna be sticking up a little bit, so we can definitely, um, behind her, 
um, put some glue dots right down the middle so that she pops up a little bit. And I think my glue gun is warm enough right now. So let's start that first set of glue dots. Um, and if you haven't seen me do this before, I put just like a circle or a dot. And that's gonna give us the space that we want. So we let it dry, we don't use it as glue, we just use it as a spacer. So it's gonna dry with a little bump on it. When we're ready to glue it, we put a little bit more glue on there, on these dots, and then we put it down. So at that point, we'll actually use the glue gun for glue. But right now, I'm just gonna put it aside, that's done. We can work on the sequins because I feel like that's the fun part. So this is our foam that we're putting down. I bought it from Michaels. Um, I cut it on uh, my maker on the flex foam setting. So it uses the rotary braid, the rotary blade, <laughs> and it cuts like butter, like one, one cut and we're good. So since I don't have a back, I'm gonna use acetate paper, foam, sequins inside, acetate paper, okay? So let's, on this one, let's put our glue tape all around. And I have found that this glue is awesome. It keeps in our sequins. I haven't had any leakage problems. So you just wanna make sure that you get it all the way around. And I'm only using sequins and glitter. If you want something that has like more depth to it, you're gonna need two layers of this foam or just thicker foam. So this one's pretty thin, but it's it's still good enough to get that going. Okay, so here, just kind of put it, um, eyeball it. And it's okay because this is my um, cake topper slider template and you can get it on Creative Fabrica. I'll make sure to link it for you. It's a dollar, um, but the way it's designed is that it doesn't need to be perfect on the, like where you lay it. As long as you kind of center it a little bit, it will be covered by all the pieces that we have on top. So don't worry about that. Okay, so now let's dump in our prettiness. Um, I always like to do a little bit of, well, let's open up the, let's open up our little things first. So if you think about a shaker, oh, and I opened it up upside down. If you think about a shaker, um, you can shake it, it's all great, until you put it on the cake. Once you put it on the cake, it's stationary, right? So all your glitter falls to the bottom, which you don't want. So, I mean, it's gonna happen, but you don't want it to happen. So what you wanna do is, we wanna put some glue up on the top area, throw on some sequins, so there's always sequins in that area, okay? So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here, here, here here, 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 all right. And let's just, and you always want to put more rather than less. It looks really skimpy when you don't have enough on there. And it's really hard to eyeball it. I'm always like second guessing myself. Um, but like I said, I've had that issue before. So I always rather go overboard than under these days just because it looks so pathetic. Okay, um, let's see, I want some blue in there. And these I got, some of them I got from Michaels, but these little containers I got on Amazon. It's also on my um, Amazon list, so in my shop. But um, I, it, they're, they're for slime making. So you add these things to slime. So it's part of the slime kit. It's really reasonable in price. So I like it. Um, let me see if I can throw in, I like this blue. And I wanna stick to the main colors Although I guess I could throw in some gold since we do have a little bit of gold. Okay, I think that's enough. I hope I don't regret this. 
All right, I'm just gonna throw in a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> okay. So now you wanna just scoot your sequins in because we're gonna line this top layer of foam <clears throat> with our glue tape the same way that we did the bottom. And so it tends to grab the sequins. So that's why I, um, I try to push them in a little bit before I go. And the other thing that I like about this design, which, you know, <laughs> I designed it, <laughs> um, is that if there is leakage, there is room for us to correct it. So as you can tell, before I did this, I had a lot of leakage problems and it was really driving me insane. Plus, it's just, you know, you don't want it leaking onto your cake. So, all right, so let's try this. Yay! And look at it, it's so pretty. There's glitter everywhere, you can hear it. And even when it's down, it has glitter. Oh, sorry, let me change this. So even when it's down, you can still see glitter all over. And you can look at my table. I'm gonna flip the screen again. No residue, this is from me, for, for, from it, when I was putting it in. Yes, okay, but like I said, if you do have leakage, you can just either trim back the, the acetate paper, which in this case is just the Avery uh, super strong file holder or something like that. It's super cheap, it's better than acetate paper. Um, that's what I've been using for all my cake toppers and it's cheaper, it's also on my Amazon shop, but um, you can, at that point, you can trim this down and stick your glue gun in between and really make sure that you have a good seal, okay? But in this case, we don't need it. All right, so this is done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start layering everything, okay? So here's our name. The name, the font, I did a really thin font, so we're not gonna be able to layer that and give it the extra height. What we, what we will do, though, is we'll give height on this actual overall banner. So everything on top of this banner, we're just gonna tape down, okay? But this one, I'll just flip over now and we will do our glue dots. Okay, we'll put that aside. Let's do our name. So I'm just gonna grab, not using that anymore with my paint on there. So let's do the green layer that goes on top of our purple. So I'm just gonna use this. And just be careful when you're using, sorry, really um, thin, like a really thin font, is that when you're doing your tape that you don't accidentally rip it apart. That is also from personal experience. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And this is a test one, so that's why um, I'm using my daughter's name. Because I've never done the lights before, but I also wanted to record it. Because I, I have faith that it's gonna work. Um, we're gonna let that dry before we put this on. So let's move along. Okay, let's work on our fire, our little um, fire firefly. So, I wanted it, I knew I was gonna do this um, on paper because it was thin. I probably would have done like a cutout with volume or something, but I didn't have it. So I did a print and cut on this, so it's light, right? And the paper is light. I did a little cutout on this piece so that I can layer this on top. And then I'm gonna have the light behind it. So if you see the light now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm hoping you can see that. Do you see how it lights up? <laughs> I think it's gonna be really, really pretty and cool, but, and appropriate. I was trying to think of how to use these lights and when you would have something lit up. What I didn't like about the image here though, and I I bought the SVG file for everything else, but not for this fire, the, the Firefly was so ugly. So I just went on Design Space, but I didn't like these little 
things. So I'm just going to cut off like the legs. I don't think anyone's going to notice. And I'm going to cut off the antennas because I like the ones I have already. And so I'm just cutting off. I'm trying to make it look cuter. Okay. So I am then going to put it on this guy and it's going to sit like this. I mean, I don't know what a firefly is supposed to look like. These were both firefly images. So I'm just incorporating both. I'm doing it just so that I can make this paper thicker and more easier to maneuver. I don't know. <laughs> so let's, um, let's tape this guy down. So let's um, do this. And we'll, we're gonna see how this goes. So on this one, even though I used the template for a slider, I don't think anything's gonna slide. But I am gonna use part of that um, cutout here to stick my light in and glue it shut. So here's our little piece. I'm gonna put it somewhere like here. Let's work on our number. So again, on the five, let's do our little glue dots. so thin and so I um, I get this question about why I do this because in these thin areas like this I don't think the foam tape would be easy to use actually I think it would be really difficult to use and this one's so thin I think it's just gonna go flat on there um, so I like having the precision tip of my glue gun and then being able to do it myself okay so this is dry let's flip this over let's get this guy down so, now normally I would be worried about the webbing from the glue, but because it's going on the white glitter cardstock, no one's going to be able to see it. So, I'm just going to put it down. That's so sticky. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to put down the name as well. So let's get that. And I know with the colors that I chose that the glue webbing wouldn't be noticeable. So. Okay, so there, that's down. Kind of worried about this piece. Normally it sticks way better. I think maybe because I wasn't, I didn't do this to begin with. Okay. So this is down, we'll put it aside. It already has the glue. Let's do our numbers. I think this is dry, yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna put this one on. Just put a little bit of glue. And it just gives it that extra little depth that really makes a difference. Okay, this one we're just going to get down because it's so thin. So there's our five. Um, let's see. So we gotta do our lily pad and our frog, and then we're done. So our frog, I'm just gonna put him down, but the frog itself will be will will be lifted. So let's just tape him down. Oh, 
Wow. I almost took that apart. Now on this one, I do like to take this tool right here and kind of get the webbing because it's going on the black. I don't think it'll be noticeable with everything else going on, but um, every little bit helps. So. This is such a cute little file. Um, so I used four different shades of green just because this theme had the lily pads the frog and so i really searched my supplies and i went with shimmer paper um what else did i do shimmer what's the other one metallic glitter and then the different shades so i mean look how cute that is i know it's really bright but it's gonna be so cute Okay, so that's down. Okay, and this is actually pretty easy to put together. The frog just looks so cute with all the colors that I had to do it instead of doing cut and cut. But I knew with Tiana, she had so many details that there's no way I was going to do that in cardstock. And, um, but knowing that, then I had, you know, I did everything else in cardstock like the lily pad. The lily pad has a lot of details, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, and one more piece. Now I'm also, I've been getting a lot of requests to do cake toppers for boys. So I recently did um, Mario Brothers, and then I did that trucker one. So if you have any any ideas, I gladly welcome it. So, all right, so with the little pieces that go on here, um, they're really small and I'm missing a piece right now, which is gonna be a bummer. It has to be on here. So I, oh man, I really am missing it. I always miss one, but I like to use this little guy. It's the We Are Memory Quick Stick. So it has putty on one side and then this side is to like scrape things. So I am, well, I don't even know where all these pieces go. Let's see. Let's see if we like the placement of everything. That looks too big. Ah. Okay, and then this guy I think goes right here. So when and there's one more piece. Oh, oh no, that's not it. Sequence. Um, I like using this um this glue. This is um Zig Memory System. So it's like a little pen with glue. So um, I squeeze out the glue here. And that's a lot of glue. I shouldn't have done that, but that's for you guys to see. <laughs> or so I'm gonna stick to that story. Um, so I'm gonna pick up this piece like this, kind of dab it over here, and then put it down. Okay, then pick up this piece, and I didn't pick up that piece well. Maybe no one will notice that I'm missing one little orange piece right there. I know there were four. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. I'm just gonna look under, ah, oh, I see it. Yes, okay. So let's grab that last one. I don't even know how it goes. Oh, that's, that's not the way it goes. Okay, all right. Look at this little guy though, he's so worth the effort. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna flip him over and give him dimension, right? So let's, let's 
And sometimes I'll even double this up. So if I know he's the last thing to go on, which he is because he's going to be sitting on the lily pad. So if we really want to give him extra, extra depth. Then after this dries, we'll do one more bubble for him. So I'm going to put that aside. Let's work on our lily pad. So I'm going to pull that layer up. Let's look at this layer. So let's do this one. Okay, and we'll do this one as well because it's going to be sitting on the back of the cake topper. Okay, well that's drying. Let's work on these pieces. So I'm going to kind of keep them in place just so I'm not going to go crazy in a little bit. Okay, so let's do little dots on each one of these. I'm always so scared I'm going to burn myself. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm like, uh, I've been burned before. So you know the trick is, I, I got badly burned doing pom-poms. Neosporin, you put it on, like just let it drip on your thing, and I kid you not, overnight, that thing will be gone. Okay, so that's almost done. Let's do this little guy. Okay. Oops, so he's not quite done. All right, so let's work on this piece though. So I do know that, okay, so here's this piece. This piece will go behind our gold. So you see how the gold covers the foam? So we had space to deal with any issues. So it's gonna go like this. And then this piece is gonna go somewhere like this. This piece is gonna cover the back of here. So we'll do this piece last, okay? And we can actually Okay, so we do need to, let's put this together first. So on this one, let's see. Let's just do a rim of glue right in this, right near the edge, okay. Okay, perfect, okay. Then this guy we're gonna put somewhere up. I want Tiana to cover the rest of this, but I want a little hole for our firefly. So it's gonna go like this. So I guess we can put our gold down, so let's do that. Let's hit the rim of this, yum. We can always make sure that this gets, this is a little bit more secure. And we can actually put this on this way. So I'm gonna put a little bit more here. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around. Oh no, hold on. That was not good, because you can see it. I take that back. Don't put that on there, because you can see the white of the background. So I'm peeling it up. What you're gonna need is, we'll do another cut of this outer layer. And you can't see anything from here because there's so much of the sequins, so don't worry about that. Um, then we're gonna put another layer of this. 
So, lesson learned. Okay, this guy is going to go somewhere like here because Tiana is going to cover most of this, I think. And then the firefly is going to be like, or actually maybe I can't get her to cover it. So maybe we just do it down here. We'll create a space for this with a hole puncher. Okay, we'll put it like right around here or something. Okay, so then we know this is going like here. So I think we can put down everything. And then we have our lily pad that we need to put together right now. Okay, so let's flip this over. Let's glue this down. This isn't exactly how it goes, but I wanted it like this because I like the green outline all over. I think this originally only had the green outline on the bottom. So this is where you can come up with your own. So here's our purple. And again with the purple, I'm really, I'm lining this up differently than what was intended in design space, but who cares? <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna put our little pieces down. So with all the layers on this lily pad, it's going to look like a work of art and not just like a lily pad. So I'm gonna put these on because I wanna make sure I'm putting them in the right places. And then we'll glue it down. Does it go like that? Or is it the opposite? Okay, so it goes like that. So now we'll just glue everything down. So I'm always looking for ideas. So if you have a special request, just let me know. And I think, you know, that's how I get, I do tutorials for my orders, um, but I also do order, I mean, the orders, they typically are the same things over and over. So I can only do, you know, like one of my cake toppers one time um, if I get 10 orders for it. So um, if you have a special request, I'm totally down with, doing that for you. It's for me and for you. Okay. Can you see the height of this lily pad? I'm gonna lift it up in a second as soon as we're done gluing everything down. There is so much going on with this lily pad that I'm totally in love with it. So I've yet to see the movie um let me know if i should there's so many movies i haven't seen when it comes to disney even though a lot of my work is the princesses um i still haven't seen little mermaid um i've seen some of the newer stuff because my daughter but even then okay so look at i mean it's just so so pretty okay so we're gonna lift her Lift everything up, put this down. So I'm gonna put my lily pad down first. So let's glue this piece down. We'll just glue it around. Ignore the fact that we even have a slider on here. It doesn't matter. I'm out of glue, give me a second. Okay. 
I love doing a slider on top of everything else, but it just felt like this was going to be so busy. So I, I opted to not do that. All right, so let's put this down. And hold it in place for it to dry and then you'll be good. Okay. Put the lily pad down. I want her right around there. So actually Tiana is going to go down next. So she gets glue almost everywhere except for this one. Okay. Okay, and then this lily pad. Let's see where this frog goes. So this frog is going to definitely need more glue. So we're going to do an, a double glue stack. All right, and then we're going to glue this down. So cute. Okay, where are we gonna put the five and then the firefly? So maybe we put the five somewhere over here so that the firefly isn't in her face. And then I also wanna make sure that this tail is more, is sticking in because if it's sticking out, this thing has to be strong enough to hold this light bulb. And so I'd rather have it sticking in like this. Actually, I think I like this placement right here. So then we're going to hole punch through here and here so that the light will shine through. All right, I think I like that. Okay, and then this little guy will go right here. I think that'll be good. Okay, so let's do that. So he's kind of on the lily pad, kind of not. All right. And then the five will go right around here. Gosh, this is, it's so funny how things change. Um, I feel like I design it on design space and then I cut it out. I change my mind on colors. And then once I get everything that I like the colors, the placement's all different but it's all good. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I'm gonna get my hole puncher out. So give me a second, I forgot to do that. Okay, so let's hole punch. Man, I don't even know how to do this. Um, something's glued to the bottom. Okay, there we go. Um, because I also don't want maybe somewhere like this, so it's covered. Okay, so I'm going to do it right here. Okay, so the hole punch is there. We need the light to go through like right here and for it to be glued down. So I think that's good. So I think what we'll do is let's glue all around here. And then once we get it in, we can Add more glue around. Okay. 
so that's going to take a second to dry. Um, let's see if we need to do anything else on the back side. I don't think so. All right, we're almost done. So what I'll do is, um, oh, let's get out our cake sticks. These wooden dowels are also on my Amazon shop. Surprise! <laughs> um, on this one, because of the sequence in the middle, I would probably opt to do two. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that in a second. That will be the last thing that we do. All right, let's see. So that's not completely dry, but let's pull out our okay, let's pull out our little thing so we can see the light. Okay, so our light works. Um, let me go get something. So that it's not completely flat on the thing. Okay, there we go. And let's see how we're gonna put this guy on. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take or glue the wings down, okay? I don't want any glue in that opening. So you see, flip it over. That is so perfect. Um, I'm gonna dim this light down so that you could maybe see it better. Can you see the light now? Okay. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna leave the light going on the whole time. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I do my wooden dowel, okay? So this is down, so this is, this is sort of like my front, okay? This is actually really hard to do because there's really no um, way for me to tell which way is which. So I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put one down And I'm gonna use my mat to tell me what's straight, okay? And then I'm gonna put this side down. So they're both gonna be even because I'm using the mat to line it up. And then what I'm gonna do is, just kind of knowing where it's gonna be. So that's a little bit too high because I can see it from Tiana, okay. So I'm gonna mark this like this. That's where this, this thing should be. I'm gonna lift this up. I know this was here. I'm gonna try to keep everything in place. Normally I could do it from behind, but because this is, it's not even, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. Just enough glue, we'll fix it later just enough glue so that it will stick to our cake topper. Oh, this moved. So that I can turn it around and everything will still be together. So now I'm really gonna glue it down. Okay, I think we're really, really good on this. And what I like is our little thing is sitting straight up. So to insert this to turn off the light, the light's off. So I really, this is woo, it's so awesome. And it's our first one. Yes. What a crafting triumph. Um, all right. So I think, I think we're good. I'm going to flip it around. I'm not going to hold it by the, by the sticks because I think it's still Okay, I'm gonna pull out the light. Okay, I'm gonna dim the light. So you could see it. And then. Ah, yes! <laughs> 
All right, see you guys next time. Thanks so much.